Right. So the homework was uh, from your quadratics uh, booklet, question numbers three, four, five, six, and eight. Um, three, four, six, and eight. So we will discuss that first. Um, uh, did you do number three? If you uh, if you both have gotten the answers, uh, we don't have to discuss it. But if you have any pro doubt or problem, if you didn't get the answer, if you have any question to ask me, then I will do it. So how was number three? Aisha and Umasha, did you do number three? Determine the set of values. So it's a set of values, a range of values. That means that has to involve a solving offer. Uh, solving of a um, uh, inequality. Good, Aisha. All the questions were easy. Nice. Umasha, how were they uh, for you? Were they all good? Then we can just, uh, and because the, the answers are at the back, if you got the answer, that means you, wow, very nice. So all of them were okay? Three, four, five? Three, four, five, six, and eight? All, all uh, how many? One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Nice. Good. Especially the fifth one with the, with the uh, diagram. I gave you the fifth one, right? Three, four, five. Yes. Then no need to discuss. Any questions for me then uh, from those questions? Do you have anything to ask? Like some, maybe something else to ask? No? Right, then we can start the lesson. Okay, so, um, right. Uh, we are going to start, so that was the end of coordinate geometry. There are some more um, things in the textbook, if you look at the textbook, but they're not in the syllabus. So I'm not going to spend time uh, uh, discussing those. For example, uh, on, in your textbook, you have something called curb sketching, um, where you learn uh, if you have um, um, a polynomial expression um, uh, as an equation of a curve, y equals, and a polynomial expression. So you have to know what a polynomial expression is. Um, how you can sketch the shape of the curve. So something like that is in the book under coordinate geometry, but you don't have it in the syllabus. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to uh, uh, do that. Uh, so what we are going to do today is starting the third topic in the syllabus, which is series and sequences or sequences and series. Um, okay, so that is if you have the textbooks, uh, that is going to be the the third um, oh i'm missing a page in my book 125 uh, i think it's 120 hmm, 125 or something okay so it's the third um, it's the third uh, chapter let me see yeah, there's a third chapter in the book also. It's a fourth chapter in the book. It's a fourth chapter in the book. Okay. Right. Then can you, do you have any questions before we start the new lesson? Do you have any questions from both coordinate geometry and quadratics? The two chapters that we have uh, finished so far. While you think about that, let me also tell you, uh, okay. Uh, Masha says no. Uh, both of you were there uh, last in the last lesson, right? Both of you were there. Uh, I, I could not send the uh, recording to the others. Still, I'm trying to um, uh, attach it to my email. It takes a lot of time to get attached. So I was trying it this morning too, because I have to be here in, 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 uh, with the laptop to do that. So yeah, um, and only one, yeah, still only one has, and it was in parts, remember, because we got, um, we got disturbances and uh, it has gone as two, uh, two 
two separate recordings. Um, and I think the file uh, size is larger than usual. I don't know why that is. So it takes a lot of time to, um, to, um, to get attached. Oops, my video went off. Right, so let's start. Um, I have prepared it on the board, but let me try on the document reader. But if you get if it if it gets stuck at least one time, we will we will just throw it away. Okay. Right. So write the topic on a new page. It's your third topic. Um, sequences and series. Uh, the thing is this, if I go to the board, I can't keep these on then because they are connected to the laptop. I can't, so I would have to walk back. Then I can't keep these on. Then I would have to just use the microphone of the laptop and it will be picking all the other sounds um, around. Um, so it, was, it would not be as clear as this. Now it's only picking, mostly picking my voice. Mm, and also I would not be able to hear what you say if you talk to me. Uh, because um, uh, the, there is a problem with the sounds in my laptop. So if I remove this, uh, the sound is not very clear, but through this I can hear that because the um, speak, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The speakers of the laptop, there is a problem with that. So let's try to man, let's see, let's hope that this will not give us any problems today, okay? Sequences and series. This aside. Okay, so I think you have heard of the word sequences before in all of us. Another word for sequences is progression. So if you want, you can write that too in brackets here. Progression is another word for progression, progression double S. Is another word for sequence. So progressions and series is, is, the, is our topic. Can you tell me what a sequence is? What, a, what is a progression? Before we go into the word series, let's talk about a sequence or a progression. What is a progression or a sequence? You have learned this in your O-levels. Let me see. Uh, Aisha says a pattern, um, um, a pattern of what? Like you mean even a, if you look at um, a, a snowflake, there is a pattern. You mean like that? Like a geometrical pattern, like a pictorial pattern? A pattern of what? Aisha? Uh, a pattern of set of numbers, Umasha says. Um, okay, that, uh, that sounds like a, um, a, a complete answer. A pattern of set of numbers. A pattern of numbers or elements with a common difference. Um, what do you mean by that? Can you give me an example, Aisha? A pattern of numbers or elements with a common difference. Give me an example. Like two, four, six, eight, ten, where the difference is two. Very good. That's an example for a sequence. That's an example for a sequence. 
um, so let me write what um, uh, what Aisha said. Uh, Aisha's example two. So she's giving me a line of numbers. Um, so you are you are separating them with commas. Two comma, four comma, six comma, eight comma, ten comma, and yeah, as she says, there is a common difference between two adjacent numbers. It's like two plus two gives you four, then four plus two gives you six, six plus two gives you eight. So there is a pattern, as she said, there is a pattern that you can recognize. Uh, since there is a pattern, I can even predict what the next uh, number in this line should be after 10. So it should be 10 plus 2, 12. So I can keep going if I want, right? Uh, and this goes on. Uh, so that's a pretty good uh, way of describing what a sequence is. Uh, um, but a, a common mistake that we always do when you think of a sequence is thinking that there has to be a pattern, okay? In fact, a sequence is any line of numbers, any set of numbers in a, in a particular order. Now, the, the, your numbers are in an order, right? If I jumble these up, it won't be, it might, it would be a different sequence then. I can jumble them up. It would be a different sequence then. So the order matters. So the, this one has the numbers in the order 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, so on, uh, on and on. And that has a pattern. This uh, sequence has a pattern. Uh, and because it has a pattern, we can predict what the other, other numbers are going to be. We call these terms. Let me use that word too. So this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and so on. So, so it goes in an order. But a sequence need not uh, have a pattern, uh, a recognizable pattern. For example, here's a sequence. One, comma, nine, comma, two, comma, five comma, seven, comma, zero, comma. Can you get, can you predict the next number in this pattern? And in this sequence? You can't. I just, uh, the, these numbers I have written randomly. The, the random numbers that came to my mind, okay? So I, I don't think you can ever, if, even if, it, if you try to find, I don't think there is a pattern. I mean, there is a way in which you can get nine from the first term, whether there is, a, whether there is some common uh, thing going on between the adjacent terms, right? So a sequence in, in simple words is a set of numbers in some order. Now, this, this sequence, the numbers are in this order, one after one, nine nine and then two and then five and then seven and so on so there is a certain order in which the numbers are lined up but there might or might not be a pattern right so any set of numbers in a particular order is a sequence or a progression a very popular sequence that doesn't have a pattern is this but you would recognize this see whether you know this uh, three comma one comma four comma one comma I can't remember the next uh, digit next number in this um, sequence. Do you recognize what this is? But you know what this is. The the numbers don't have a relation. But you know what the next number is. I can't remember now. Do you recognize what this is? These are, this is the sequence of numbers uh, that, uh, that appear in the 
number pi, the digits of pi. 3.141, dun, 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 that one. Okay, so you can put the digits of pi into a sequence. So the, the next number here is determined. It's the next digit in the number pi. So pi is 3.141 something. So this next number is determined. It's not random. I can't just put any number here. There is a particular digit here. So that will come, that will come here. And the next digit will come here. So there is a certain order in the numbers here. But there is no pattern as such. Okay. Right. So hope that is clear. So uh, things that you have to know about the sequence is uh, these, these um, uh, technical terms, terms again, this word terms. We use the word terms to denote uh, each of the numbers in your, in your sequence. So you have the first term, second term, third term. So you can talk about the position of each of your numbers. So the, the term tells you the position of a number in your sequence. If I say 10th term, it's the number in the 10th position, right? And the other thing about sequences is there are, you can talk about finite sequences and infinite sequences. A sequence can be finite 